Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to talk about letter uh, spacing and uh, kerning. So I'm just going to type something in. I'm going to type a typical word that you'll see on the street is the word only. This happens to be, I can swipe through this and I can change this to one inch letter. F7 to zoom in on it. And you can see the spacing that's created now. This probably has more than 100%. Let me swipe through it and bring this down to 100. I was probably playing with this previously. So here it is at normal spacing. But you can see that the space here to here is about what it is from here to here. But we do want to bring it over. So you can, in this mode, where it's just selected, you have to click on this icon for if you were actually entering your text where I double click on the baseline you have this on-screen kerning icon also so either one will do the same job so you're gonna click on this one just click once on the little dot there and then you can use I like using my arrow key to move it over till I see that it's pleasing and maybe because this is a straight letter and this is a straight cut letter you need to maybe give that just a little bit more space so that these two letters do not run together. Okay, once I click away I'm, I'm, and I'm pleased with that result, so that's great. Now let's say I want to change this and I want to type something else in. I'm going to type in Toyota. Okay, and let me just look at this F7 to zoom in on it and I can see the spacing is okay I could maybe bring the T to the O but for the most part it's okay but now this time I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna do my spacing and this I just want to spread it out now, actually what I should have done let me do this control Z click away control Z to undo it I'm gonna hold down the alt key and duplicate it and now I'm gonna double just click on here scroll over and now here's here's what I've ended up with now if you look real close you can see that the letters match up they're the exact same size all they are is spread apart double click on it click on up here it does the same thing now of course I could move one letter at a time and now you can also move this little box to get it where you want it so as you're spreading it you can more position it on your plate to make sure that what you've got is what you want to do click away and of course if I want to center this on my plate I can hold the alt key and oops, I have to be on just have its alt home and end will center it vertically and horizontally one of the things that happens is let's say that you have only only the only let me just move this out of the way and move this out of the way and I'm gonna obviously that's misspelled but I am gonna use my spell checker and there's no suggestion for that so I'll click on only and replace and okay so now it's only the only uh, for lack of a better uh, I'm gonna make it centered and now if I go to center this alt home uh, it asks if I want to break apart these multi lines silly question almost always the answer is no and then alt end and you gotta tell it no again if you did not do that control Z and I go alt end and I tell it to break it apart it's now two lines that's broken apart. Hope this helps.